Thank you for coming here today. As you can see, we had a major storm hit, the, hit our campus last uh, evening about 5.30. The most important thing here is that we had no major personal injuries. We were very, very fortunate uh, in the timing of the, of the storm that hit, and we had no major, we had one person had a minor scratch, but nothing major. We were very, very fortunate with that. Uh, we, as you can see, we had damage on several of the buildings, and the greenhouses right behind us here took, uh, took a direct hit. And uh, then it went on across the campus, starting at the southwest corner and going up to uh, the northeast part. And uh, the Arboretum um, also received uh, some, some damage as well. And so uh, we're still assessing the situation to see what the real damage is and, and how long it will take us to get back into operation again. We hope soon, uh, but we're still making that assessment at this particular time. Now I'd like to turn it over to uh, Congressman Bucheri. Congressman, thank you very much for being here. Well, I, we just want to say that our thoughts and prayers have been answered, that nobody has been injured in this uh, devastating storm. Uh, my office, along with uh, Governor Strickland, uh, have been on the phone with uh, local uh, emergency management uh, agencies, as well as state emergency management agencies. And we're asking uh, all citizens who have sustained any damage whatsoever uh, in this storm to report it to their local emergency management agencies so they can get an accurate tally. They need to do this within the next 72 hours so declarations can be made and assessments can be conducted uh, so that this can be uh, assimilated through the appropriate channels. Uh, work with the local, uh, the state, and then uh, we'll take the uh, matter before our federal agencies. Uh, and uh, State Senator Bob Gibbs is here with us as well. Uh, Senator, uh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mosier. You know, it's a blessing that, that, that happened after a closing here. Yes. I just drove up on the bypass around here and saw the damage to Arboretum, and, and uh, it's just devastating what the trees and uh, what's happened here. Uh, and I concur with the Congressman of Cherry that uh, local residents are in work with uh, the Emergency Management Agency here in Wayne County, John Wise, the director, and uh, get the assessments done and, and get done get back in operation here because a lot of important work is done here at the Ohio Agriculture Research and Development Center. And we want to get that back in on the line as fast as possible. Absolutely. I want to I want to make a big thank you to the first responders here last night. When I got here last night about eight o'clock, they already were well organized. The command center was set up and they had things moving. And the campus was locked down at that particular time. They just really responded. They've been very very helpful to us and to this whole process. We've also been in communication with our Columbus campus and operations there. They've been helpful in helping us get things organized. So it's been a real team effort, and we're really very very appreciative of the support we got. Here.